On today's 11 by 14 inch canvas, I'll be using tissue paper, stenciling, and decoupaging. If you would like the stencils I'm using, you can click on the PayHip link below to purchase my digital download files. This will give you instant access to my supply list and instruction sheet, stencil SVG cut files, and my print for hand cut tracing or transfer files. So let's get started. I begin by tearing off the blank edges of my printer paper and then tearing my collage sheet into some groovy shapes. I've got my Mod Podge already. I like to add a little water to my Mod Podge to thin it down just a little bit. I like to put a layer down, then put some more on top and then smoosh it with my fingers to get most of the bubbles out. Then I'll set this aside to dry and start working on my tissue paper flowers. I've got a little bit of water and a medium round brush and I'm just going to put my mask down and go around the edges with my water and then tear my flowers out. I'm going to do a bunch because I don't know how many flowers I will actually use at this point. And then when they're dry, I'm going to wad them up and then unfurl them to give them a nice texture. Now I'm taking some white and a baby wipe and tamping all over just to kind of bring it all together, soften my edges of my handwritten papers. With my paint dry, I'm able to go in now with my mandala stencil and my dark gray paint and just put some more groovy background in there. At least I think it's groovy. You'll have to decide whether you agree. <laughs> I've got some bright yellow with a drop of red to make a nice golden tone and then a, a little bit more of my bright yellow in there. Now adding some of the nutmeg brown in. And next I'm going to take my plastic shopping bag and pounce all over. And then a paper towel. I'm going to wad it up and remove some of the paint. Just playing around till I get it like I want it. Once that's dry, I'm going to take my flamenco red and my little dot stencil. I'm just going to lay some out around my canvas. I originally made this as a kid. I was selling on Etsy, so that's why you see me talking to the camera with my hands quite a bit. So I'm sorry if that's distracting. With my red paint dry, I'm now going to go in with my baby wipe and some white and just push everything back a little bit, soften everything with some white on top. I start off with just a little bit, then add in a little more, take some off. I like this process because it's fun and I can just keep going till I get it like I want it. Figuring out where I want my flowers, overlapping a few, some are going off the edge, now I'll start decoupaging them on. I like to be gentle with my tissue paper, but if I do tear them or have an issue, I can usually smoosh it back together and put a little more Mod Podge on top to fix. It's very forgiving. And I am tapping on the tops, as you'll see, because I want to keep a nice texture in there and I don't want any brush strokes. Now I've taken my red, added a little bit of white to it to make a lighter pinkish color. And I'm going in with my detail stencil and stenciling on that color. And then you're going to see me up ahead do that with a couple of different colors until I get some nice detail on there. With each color, I'm going to turn my stencil just a little bit so they're not all on top of each other and spread out a little bit. 
Now with my red color, now with my white. got my toothpick and some more white paint and I'm just using the end of my toothpick. I think it's an appetizer stick. But anyways, just getting some white and making some dots for the center of my flowers. I want some to be bigger than others and a few different sizes. Now I'm using my straight flamenco reg to go around my edges. I don't want a smooth, perfect line. I just want to define all those little tissue paper edges. Now I've got my liner brush and I'm just getting a little bit of that white on the end and just gently here and there adding some highlights to my edges. I always enjoy painting on a Mod Podge surface because you can so easily wipe up any mistakes and start again. Very forgiving. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I'd also love to hear from you if you want to leave me a comment. If you hit the bell button, YouTube will notify you each time I add a new video. Until next time.